before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to 7F. By the way, I liked it when he said Juicy Gang. Good stuff, 7F. Good stuff. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Suki here. And about one week ago, a guy named Just Wavy commented on one of my videos saying, Tell us to get some healthy snacks because I've been watching your videos too much and eating. And you know what, guys? Just Wavy is right. Before I get into the juicy stuff, make sure to grab some healthy food as you're watching this video. Maybe grab some carrots, apples, watermelons, maybe some strawberries, and if you're really feeling it, maybe even run down to Subway really quickly and grab yourself a healthy one footer. And also, comment down below right now and tell me what healthy food you're eating as you are watching this video. I always like to know, and I don't know guys, I'm always interested in that kind of stuff, you know. But now, let's get right into the good stuff. Our first story isn't really that serious or anything, but I thought it was pretty funny, but this one's coming Coming from Faceway, a couple days ago he tweeted out saying, Notice anything different? Now I want you guys to look at this tweet. Look very closely. Do you guys notice anything new? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I sure do. Faceway finally got an iPhone, guys. As you can see, on the tweet it says Twitter for iPhone, and this tweet got so many likes, guys. After much convincing, Faceway finally decided to put down the Android and switch to an iPhone. By the way, guys, no disrespect to anyone who has an Android. This is all for jokes, you know, but if you truly think about it guys like if you're in phase you just can't have an android it's really really embarrassing and people have been memeing sway for a very long time about having an android as you guys can see on the screen people have been bullying sway for using an android for a very long time so yeah guys it was a very big day for sway it will go down in the books absolutely biblical you know and speaking of phase clan i am 95 percent sure i know who the next phase member is now hear me out guys i will share my reasoning with you guys and why i think this so first of all right off the bat i think gore is joining FaZe Clan. About two days ago, Parallel Gorb tweeted out saying, If you guys want to add my new account, it's FaZe X Gorb. I'll add some of y'all. Now you might be thinking, this really doesn't mean anything, and that Gorb is just messing around on a different epic account. Because you know, a lot of people do that. Now let's take a trip down memory lane, and don't forget about Gorb's tweet. It's all gonna make sense soon. Now as we all know, FaZe Kaz, I want you guys to look at this tweet. And if you guys look at the date, Gas joined FaZe Clan on September 22nd, 2018. Now, if we backtrack about two months prior to Gas joining FaZe, Gas was also playing on his FaZe Epic account. As you guys can see on the screen, on July 12, 2018, Gas also started playing on his FaZe account. Then two months later, in September, Gas ended up joining FaZe. And now you might be thinking that this is just a coincidence and you are stupid, Suki. Well, what if I told you FaZe Mew also did the same thing? And now as you guys can see, Mew joined FaZe Clan on September 21st, 2018. And if we backtrack about three months you can clearly see that on june 25th 2018 mew was playing on his phase account and then three months later he ended up joining phase clan now i don't know about you guys but this can't be a coincidence now first of all gorb is most likely already in phase and the reason why he is playing on his phase account is because the phase leaders want gorb to hit clips with his phase account so when he gets announced they can immediately upload his introducing to the phase clan channel with all gamer type clips in it and to add on to that on september 21st 2018 18, a guy named Dweeby tweeted out saying, Wait, I just realized why Mew and Cass's epic were faced this whole time. I thought it was just to show commitment or something, but they have been undercover this whole time. And also to add on to that, Gorb is an amazing Fortnite player. He's been in Friday Fortnite multiple times. He has almost 200k subscribers on YouTube, and he obviously makes very good content. So yes, I am 99% sure Gorb has joined FaZe Clan. I really hope you guys understand what I'm saying, and I don't look like an idiot, because think about it guys. Why would Gorb care about playing on a FaZe account? He's not doing it just to fanboy FaZe guys, trust me. Gorb doesn't care about fanboying FaZe, you know. He is already in one of the best Fortnite teams, which is Parallel. So the only reason he is playing on his FaZe account is because he is already in FaZe guys and he wants to hit clips with it for his introducing to FaZe clan. You know what guys, I am willing to bet $100 that Gorb has joined FaZe. Gorb will most likely be announced to FaZe within the next few months and when he does, I want you guys to come back to this video and you all have to owe me a juicy burger if I am right. And I am right guys, trust me. I'm a detective out here, you know. I'm the new Saw Trust. Our next story is actually pretty insane guys, I'm not gonna lie. This one is coming from Ghost X, Rinks, 
and 77 berry. Now Ghost X tweeted something out and then deleted it right after. But luckily I have the screenshot guys. This is what X said. Never wanted to tweet about this, but the reason I haven't been grinding is because Shaw Batista bombed me onto my setup and has been abusing me for a while now. Please send help, I need more views. Shaw has been beating me up for a while now. I need a whole new setup. Now you might be thinking that X is just trolling around, but just wait. It's all gonna make sense soon. Then after that, Nova Ring says, or Rinks, or however you pronounce this guy's name man, he tweeted out saying, damn my new setup broke, WTF, can I get 200k subscribers? So if you guys haven't put the pieces together, Ghost X and Rinks says are taking shots at 77berry and are kinda subtweeting him in a way you know, but if you guys don't know about the whole 77berry situation, I'll just quickly give you guys a rundown. Basically one day, 77berry was abused, his stepdad broke his whole gaming setup, and so on and so forth, however right now, 77berry has about 150k subscribers, and you know Rinksis and Ghost X are kinda throwing shade at Barry. Now I'm not gonna have an opinion on this story, just because it's very sensitive and we don't really know who's telling the truth. However guys, I'm sure Barry didn't fake this, because you know he is a great guy, he actually commented on my last video, so you know he is a nice guy, but I also see it from the opposing side, and that some people might think that Barry was kinda milking this whole situation. And speaking of the Barry situation, we actually have a little bit of an update, this will most likely be the last time I talk about the situation, but one day ago, 77 Barry tweeted out saying, can someone explain how this is fake again? Please retweet, I need people to understand I'm not a capper. And he showed a picture of his broken gaming monitor that his stepdad broke, and he also showed a picture of himself caught by the security camera of 77 Barry being escorted by a police officer. So yeah guys, I don't think Barry is faking this, but then again guys, I am not picking sides, you know. 77 Barry also tweeted out saying, I'm realizing more that I said a lot of things publicly that make me suspicious. I'm a dumb guy who can't speak under pressure, but I swear, I haven't lied to any of you. If you have any questions, my DMs are open. But yeah guys, Barry is all good now. This whole story is basically ended, and I expect Barry to come back to YouTube within the next few days, so let's keep our eyes peeled. Our next story is very mind-blowing guys. I actually have no words. Now this one is coming from Tifu's dad, and just a little backstory on this. During the whole Tifu and face contract situation, Tifu's dad was actually encouraging him to do what he did, but that's besides the point. Now what I'm gonna share with you guys is gonna leave you wondering. Tifu's dad has a very genius idea, and I think he's gonna be the next Elon Musk. Now recently he was on the Concrete podcast, and he shared this brilliant idea guys. I'll play it for you guys right now. And we're gonna bring Chinese uh, women here and teach them streaming here and then they'll stream back into China from here. You know, that's how you make hundreds of millions. Damn guys, did you guys hear what he said? Pretty biblical idea if I do say so myself. Wow. That seems like quite the plan. It's a great plan. Is What people think is that China is backwards. They're behind us. But the truth is they're ahead of us for the simple reason is Apple sends the phones over there. They know how a phone works before the public here gets it. So yes guys, this is some very good knowledge right here and some very good contrast. So you know, since China gets to use the iPhone first, they are pretty smarter than everybody else you know. 10 out of 10 statement right here. Their engineers are already reverse engineered. That's why they're eating uh, Apple's lunch over there. We send them the phone technology. They're building the next X phone for Apple. Yeah. Well, their guys, they steal everything and build it in their phones already. So they're further advanced in this country because we're giving them the technology or they're stealing it and they're building out. So yeah guys, as you guys can clearly tell, Tifu's dad's IQ is through the roof. So basically, Tifu's dad is going to bring Chinese women to North America, teach them how to stream, and then they're going to go stream back in China. This is going to be a multi-billion dollar industry guys. And he also had a very good point here guys. He did say that China gets the iPhones first, and that's why they are more advanced than us. And holy guys, I just realized, no wonder Faceway got an iPhone so late. It's because China was hogging all the iPhones guys, and poor Faceway was left with an Android. Android, according to Tifu's dad's logic. But honestly guys, I don't know what Tifu's dad is saying. Complete and utter hullabaloo. Maybe before he went on the podcast, maybe he snorted something. I am not too sure guys. Before we move on, I want to see who made it this far into the video. So if you are hearing this right now, comment down below right now and tell me what season did you start playing Fortnite. I just want to see who's a real one and who actually watches my videos. And I just want to give another shout out to a few more people. So shout out to Cameron, Dav Builds, Asneva, 
Corrupt Monkey, and Raccoon for watching my videos. But back to the juicy stuff. Our last story is pretty interesting to say the least. Now this one is coming from Evade and they might be adding a new division and game to their team. As you guys know Huntao, who is the owner of Evade, tweeted out saying, looking for a Minecraft server to play on or someone to help make Evade Minecraft server. Please help. He then said, do I spend Evade money to host a Minecraft server? And then lastly he said, how tour soon? Looking for more creative warriors? Life update. It's been my 12th hour on Minecraft and we are progressing. TXG is cheating and built a modern house using a tutorial. Time and space is blurring as I'm losing myself in Minecraft. So damn guys, it does look like Huntao is having fun on Minecraft and he did say he might make a evade Minecraft server. And if you guys don't know, Minecraft is actually popping on YouTube right now. PewDiePie is playing it. Keemstar is hosting Minecraft Mondays and it's getting a lot of views and evade might be looking into it. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think evade should pick up Minecraft content creators or should they just stick to Fortnite? Drop a comment down below right now. But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.